Hey everybody and welcome to this week's third and final VOD replay game match, call it whatever you want. This is another Night Elf Mirror, but this time it is between two of the greatest players of all time, well, at least one of them. It is Thomas G from Denmark versus Remind from South Korea, of course, so pretty well known from his time in SK, from his time in uh, World Elite and several other clans. And yeah, he's uh, right after Moon, the second best Night Elf player of all times. He won several tournaments, e.g. Uh, several BlizzCons and Worldwide Invitationals and stuff like that. So on Blizzard events he always, sh always showed off. But this is WCG 2010, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know the exact uh, round. Could be the group stage, could be the uh, uh, quarterfinal or the round of... Uh, 16 I'm not pretty uh, so sure but before we jump into this game we will head over to the patch notes since they are exactly the same as in the first game of the week I won't tell you as much about them um, the shadow strike costs less mana the fury fire lasts longer the orb of venom lasts longer that results in more damage of course since it's damage over time and the term of experience Grants more XP in this patch because it is 1.24 and not 1.26, which we play nowadays. And so, yeah, let's not waste any more time. This is Night of Mirror. This is, as we mentioned before, Thomas G versus Remind. And this is Tarina Stan. Let's kick this thing off in 3, 2, 1, go. Pretty interesting hero choices right at the start. We have a Priestess of the Moon for Thomas G, and we have the standard opening, the Demon Hunter for Remind, the King of Night of Mirror. He was once, uh, because he killed Moon over and over and over again. Nice creeping here, very fast. Only one hit to pick it up. Almost level 2, of course. Ring of Protection plus 2, not the best item, but whatever. Searing Arrows first here on Thomas G's um, a Priestess. She's of course a little slower. I think he started the creep later, so that results into uh, <coughs> a slight disadvantage when it comes to timing and stuff. But Thomas G is not going for an early tech. He builds an Huntress Hall and a second Engine of War, so he will be going for Mass Huntress here on Torina Stand. And we see it. Uh, tactical di differences here. Remind going for an early tech, and Thomas G is going for mass early aggression together with a Potom. She's a level two already, so she got the uh, two shot aura, 10% more damage to all the ranged units. And since uh, he's playing hunters, there will only be ranged units, so it's very beneficial for. Uh, the units he's going to play. I think Remind is just going for the standard uh, bear mirror. So for that he needs to be level 3. So he has to change his game plan. It's always important if uh, you set up a game plan right before the match starts and then, uh, then something happens very early on. So you have to throw that all away. That can lead to uh, frustration, confusion. Something like that. Research and maybe Thomas G is going for that little X factor in this game to win it. But we'll see how things pay out uh, in the end. No boots of speed so far. Just a staff of teleportation. But it is... Oh, maybe the bottom bought it very early on. If yes, I missed it and I apologize for that. Searing, er Searing Arrow, of course, deal a lot of damage, but yeah, it's not that strong compared to Demon Hunter's Blade, of course. Mass Huntress coming in. We see the first two here, the third one over here, Our and more and more are being produced, as we can see over here. So Remind is changing his tactics, not yet. He builds a Huntress Hall uh, back into his base, and he's just camping now. No aggression for him, so this makes the, the Staff of Teleportation kind of useless, uh, at least for now. Maybe he can do some Gozu move with it at the end. Of course, um, Thomas G's goal is it now to prevent Remind from going to the tavern, but here's a Wisp, so he can always move 
the wisp here and get uh, the naga, the panda, something like that from the tavern, which is of course in Night of Mirror the pretty obvious choice. No mana anymore for the Priestess of the Moon, no damage dealt, so this uh, worked out not exactly as planned, I believe. Here's the second tier, it is the Beastmaster, okay. Uh, pretty nice choice, of course, with the Quill Beast, with piercing damage against the Huntress with uh, no armor, which deals, of course, extra damage. And now Thomas G sees a chance to a surround. No, there's a Staff of Preservation, of course, the item of choice for any Night Elf player very early on on Tier 2. And I think Remind is settled now. Um, build a pretty nice defense here with uh, the Engine of War here. He will have improved, improved bows soon and then there will be Dryads soon and yeah. Which are also good with piercing, piercing damage of course. And we see it, Thomas G still no Tier 2 tag. No movements towards the Tower Rush or whatever. He's just going for straight Mass Huntress and he has not reached level 3 on his bottom. That would result of course in uh, True Shot Aura level 2 which is so important right now. But we'll see how things play out. It's very easy to creep the spot right now. Uh, the Beastmaster can tank. The Quill Beast deals a lot of damage. So it is very easy with improved bows of course. But he doesn't use that. But Thomas G is doing the better spot, in my opinion, because you can find a combat item here, potion of mana, potion of invulnerability, something like that, and it grants a little more experience, if I am correct. And of course, um, since he levels only one hero, he levels faster, his only hero. If he would attack to tier 2, he would gain additional experience, but this is not the case, so let's forget about that. Remind with his natural expansion creep, no wisp nearby, so I don't think he will expand, uh, especially against uh, massing enemy, it's always a weird choice, but he's using the lightning shield pretty nice to damage uh, to damage the creeps, level 3 now, level 2 here, so he will have the hawk available for scouting purposes of course, and later on for magic damage was always good against Huntress. No tier 2 tag by Thomas G. No expansion. Usually if you uh, fail with the first push, you try to expand as fast as possible, but not the slightest sign of it, but now yeah, he's recovering and he adds some Glaive Throwers to the mix, which will be very effective against Dryads, of course, and very uh, supportive if you want to do a Tower Rush. Very important level 3 here, scroll of protection and scroll of uh, healing in the inventory for the bottom. Of course, since you don't go... Oh, he does go over 40, uh, 50 food. That surprises me a bit. Usually uh, you'd stick with it and then you have a lot and lots of gold for uh, items like that. But there is a, scr uh, a potion of healing as well, so a little item drop luck. On his side, Remind, as the Koreans and Chinese player do so likely, uh, adds the Goblin Zeppelin and uses Illusions. And here we see it, Engine Protect is coming in, so Thomas G with a Tower Rush. Let's see how things uh, work out. This is of course an Illusion, so a uh, little wasted damage here. Five Wisps, of course he needs some to detonate, very nice detonate. Another Illusion, some damage uh, wasted again. Beastmaster has problems and the... Glaive throwers do a nice job with the engine of war who was not even unrouted. Scroll protection being used immediately. First Huntress down. The Zeppelin is doing a tremendous job uh, packing in and unloading the unit. Second engine protector very offensive. Very far up front. And the Glaive thr throwers might be able to kill the buildings here pretty fast. You should focus on the one drive, but the sheer mass of Huntress are too much for Remind right now. Level up, level 4 on the Priestess of the Moon, the Demon Hunter, uh, very close of dying. He has to use a potion of healing now. Uh, third, Entry Protector coming in, three Glaive Throws, not even hit once. The Demon Hunter has to focus now on the towers become they, uh, because they can walk um, far up to the base, but he doesn't even take any hits as of now. Searing arrows go straightly to the Beastmaster, but he splits the damage uh, quite good. Both towers cancelled by the Demon Hunter. Nice job by Remind. He's not out of the game. It looks like his base has not the best time. Uh, so, uh, so I wasn't, wouldn't visit it for holidays, but uh, he didn't lose anything 
important except uh, the moon wills. He's stuck on upkeep now and he has to stick with the one bear and the beastmaster staff in the very last possible second is he able to buy a potion or something like it. Oh, it doesn't look very good for him. Why is the bottom not shooting? Here comes the searing arrow. Beastmaster dead. And now the only thing that can remind uh, that can hold remind in this game is the demon hunter which is doing a tremendous job in killing glaive throws oh and he has to use a town portal is there anything to kill the dh immediately he has the possibility to go for a shop yeah cool down on the potion no it's not he can use it right now whoo that was close man thomas g one step away from elim eliminating remind from the tournament and his bottom is almost level 5 and on level 6 she learns Starfall, one of the most um, destructive ultimates in the game. If used correctly, of course. And the bitch is just chasing the DH, of course she, uh, she, she has boots, he doesn't. But there's a potion of invisibility and he... Got the dust as well. No, he got dusted, right? Here comes dust. Here comes Searing Arrow again. So this plan failed. He has to buy another Zeppelin, as it seems. Our sacred grove is being desecrated. Oh, yeah. With the last gold on his bank, he is able to save his DH. What a hunt it was. And now he's losing his second last unit. No, he's able to save it with barely zero HP into the Zeppelin. And now the DH is back with uh, 300 HP, so the bottom should be careful. Shouldn't take too much hits from the tier of eternity. Tier three now, or oh, the DH will level so quick, and the bottom has problems. Use the big potion of healing. He, she's stuck, she, no she's not. Oh my God, this is so fucking close. N now she used the big potion of healing, and the, uh, the demon hunter has to be saved once again by the Zeppelin, Moon Micro now here, but not as effective. She, he saves both units again but the towers are up at least one tower is up uh, doesn't deal a lot of damage of course but he has time rejuvenation now so important in this situation of the game free healing it's almost like uh, a small potion of invulnerability and thomas g lost a lot of hunches is the beastmaster even coming back no he has no money for that no gold and no time he has to build more bears now for damage and healing and buffs of course with raw it would be so much easier now to chase down the bottom and he has to kill her before she reaches level five or six five would be perfect of course six would be uh, is, is a must in case you're not level six either the engine protector in trouble but there's no healing possibilities for the hunters so remind broke the pressure broke the siege and yeah with rejuvenation now this is child's play against the bottom Oh, he's trapped now. Healing potion being used. And there is... Okay, there should be... No, there's no mana for rejuvenation. So he has to run away again. Oh. The bottom so desperately trying to kill anything here. To get more experience. But we see it until... Uh, until two or three minutes, she didn't kill anything. Because Remind's micro is so great. Saving all the bears, and now the DH is full, uh, is back on full HP, and the Zeppelin comes into play again, saving the bears. This is just absolutely insane, Michael. Now he'll lose too. Oh, he's even staffs him to save the bear. Jesus Christ, what a micro! And he even saves the second bear with rejuvenation. This is Night Elf play, absolutely perfect. I couldn't think of anything he could have done better. And now the DH out leveled the bottom. Since the Huntress are only 3 XP. 
Oh my, for all the European viewers, this is so heartbreaking. Thomas G was half a step away of killing Remind with a Mass Hunt tower push, but now he's still on tier 1. He can only produce Glaives and Huntresses, and they cost a lot. Maybe an expansion would have been the better solution. Well, at least try to get one up when you tower push. If you creep, uh, not this spot here, but this spot. Should be easy peasy. But that costs a lot as well, we know. But Night Elves can tech push and expand at the same time, so it shouldn't be a problem for them. Second score of healing, and that was his last money. His final money. Two hunters coming out, and then it does it. And uh, I think Remind is very relaxed right now. He's ahead experience wise, he's almost head to head food wise. Economy wise, they're uh, pretty equal. So, this is all or nothing for Thomas G here, and I don't know how he will be able to reach that all. It seems like a doomed mission here. Maybe with towers again? I don't know. But vers versus Master Beers with Raw and Staffs and the Quillbees. This should be Mission Impossible, but we will see. Maybe he can uh, pull something out of his uh, wizard head. Well, it looks very grim for him at the moment. Scroll of Healing being used very early on. That could have been a mistake. He's focusing the heroes, and I don't think that's worth it. You see it here. The Hunters are just melting. He has no chance of killing the Demon Hunter. Here comes Rejuvenation. No aid. Finally level 5 from the bottom, but far, far away from level 6 and the star fall. He calls the GG. Well... An interesting game, but nothing that spectacular. But still, 15 minutes or 20 minutes well spent here on the Back to Warcraft channel, I believe. I've seen worse games, man. I've seen lots and lots of worse games. And this was uh, quick and entertaining. Failed tower push, but... The ability of Remind to come back into this game, absolutely tremendous. The micro of the DH and the Bears. G, absolutely stellar. So, I think that's why it's up in this list. You don't see that too often. Of course, Thomas G is not on the level of Remind, but... Uh, in 2010, I think he was at his peak, playing a very good uh, Stars War as well, if I'm not mistaken. So... This was probably the peak of both players' career, and Remind at the end crushed him to pieces. Thank you for watching, everybody! If you want to support us, uh, send uh, the millions of millions of dollars and euros and pounds and whatever to uh, back to Warcraft at gmail.com via PayPal. Support Warcraft by playing w3arena.net, and if you want to uh, spend money, don't spend it on us. Spend it on W3 Arena, because uh, it's more important that players can play that you're entertained because we want to keep this uh, scene going and yeah if you want to do something community wise uh, do it on reddit reddit.com slash r slash wc3 the place to be in the warcraft 3 community my name is neo and i'd like uh, you to tune in next week when we'll be back on twitch on thursday 19 ct with replays of the year 2011 and yeah if we got news about any tournaments we'll inform you on this very channel thank you everybody and have a nice weekend week day whatever